The Saab 9000 Turbo 16 is in every respect a completely new car. A car for which Saab's engineers and designers have drawn heavily on their past experience and developed even further the best qualities of previous Saab cars. Within its modern body lines, the Saab 9000 Turbo 16 combines outstanding interior space with all the well-known Saab characteristics. Predictable front wheel drive, exceptional road holding, the joy of driving, very high safety, first class comfort and tremendous performance. In every respect, the Saab 9000 Turbo 16 is a true Saab. The Saab 9000 is powered by the third generation Saab turbo engine, a four-cylinder, two-litre engine with double overhead camshafts and 16 valves. The engine is integrated with the gearbox to form a compact unit. It is transverse mounted and inclined forward 20 degrees, enabling it to be accommodated in a compact body with a short sloping bonnet and a low drag coefficient. The transverse mounted power unit and front wheel drive result in a straight power transmission without bevel gears. This improves the transmission efficiency. The engine can be recognized from earlier versions. It's turbocharged. The turbo, however, has a different position and a new design. As before, the system also comprises an intercooler which has been given a new design and position. It's mounted immediately in front of the radiator at the extreme front. Of course, the Saab 9000 is equipped with the unique APC system. The simple and robust LH fuel injection system has been adapted to fit the Saab 9000. This electronically controlled system is very reliable. The ignition system is fully electronic, providing extremely good function and a minimum of maintenance. There are three different cooling systems at the front. The engine radiator, intercooler and the condenser for the air conditioner. A separate oil cooler is also part of the standard equipment on a Saab 9000. The cooling fan is located behind the radiator. On cars with an AC unit, the AC fan is located in the front of the radiator assembly. The inlet system is optimated to reduce the drag. The air intake is located in the left wheel housing outside the engine compartment, impermeable for dirt and snow. This, in combination with the large filter area of the air cleaner, reduces the noise caused by the induction system. The Saab 9000 has an exhaust system that is easily serviced. All joints are flanged, without seals. It is supported by mountings that reduce the vibrations. The entire exhaust system is retracted in a tunnel, well protected from mechanical wear. All auxiliary devices are stationary on the engine. A new type of driving belt, a so-called poly-V type, is used for the water pump, alternator and the power-assisted steering. The advantages are numerous compared to the use of ordinary V-belts. Very little service is necessary and several separate V-belts can be replaced by just one. However, the AC compressor requires a special belt. The entire power unit, including the radiator and front suspension, are all mounted on a separate subframe made of hot dip galvanized sheet metal. All components are pre-assembled before the entire unit is fitted into the car. This improves the quality of the assembly and the reliability, since the performance of the various subsystems can be tested before the unit is mounted in the car.
The power unit rests on three mountings, of which two are hydraulic. Excellent suppression of engine noise and resonance have been achieved. At the same time, the engine movements and vibration are reduced. A special restrainer further reduces the fore and aft movements of the engine. The transmission is very compact, with the final drive and differential integrated into the gearbox. The weight of the entire gearbox is about 42 kilos. The synchro mesh mechanisms of the gearbox are of a very well balanced design and size. Gear shifting is very precise thanks to the direct transmission from the gear lever to the gearbox. Transversely mounted gearboxes will often pull to one side when accelerating. This effect has been entirely eliminated on the Saab 9000. The two outer drive shafts are of identical lengths and their angles in relation to the wheels are therefore exactly the same. This has been achieved by making the right hand drive shaft in two sections and fitting an extra support bearing on the right hand side of the engine. A short, torsionally very rigid intermediate shaft is then connected from this extra support bearing to the differential. McPherson struts are being used on the front suspension, resulting in a compact arrangement. The struts are very strong, and the gas shock absorbers have a piston rod diameter of 22 millimetres. They are therefore extremely stiff, which is important in such situations as high-speed cornering. The front wheel suspension occupies very little space. The piston travel length is 185 millimetres. The entire front assembly, as well as the power unit, are mounted on a separate subframe. Like all other chassis components, the wishbones and anti-roll bar are mounted in well-matched rubber bushes. The rear axle is unsplit and rigid. It consists of a lightweight straight tube with a diameter of 57 millimeters, firmly mounted on the body by two leading and two trailing arms. Results in the unsprung weight of the rear axle being very low at the same time as keeping the track perfectly constant. The Saab 9000 is also equipped with rear gas shock absorbers mounted behind the coil springs. The low panned rod as well as the anti-roll bar are mounted in well-matched rubber bushes. The Saab 9000 is equipped with well-ventilated light alloy wheels and high-speed tyres, providing plenty of room for large brakes and efficient cooling. The front wheels are equipped with so-called integrated bearings, a simple and reliable design, easy to service. The brake system used is the diagonally split brake system. The diagonal arrangement ensures that 50% of braking effort will be available if one of the circuits should fail. The Saab 9000 has disc brakes all around. The front discs, which are subjected to heavier loading than the rear discs, are ventilated for maximum heat dissipation. The brakes are equipped with floating calipers and hydraulic pistons on only one side of the brake disc. This results in lower brake fluid temperature. The semi-metallic pads on the front brakes are asbestos free, as well as the organic pads of the rear brakes. The handbrake acts directly on the rear wheel discs. Standard equipment is power-assisted rack and pinion steering with 3.2 steering wheel turns lock-to-lock. -lock. 
it's permanently lubricated and requires minimum maintenance and adjustment. The steering column is of the three section safety type with the bottom section jointed and equipped with Saab's special patented Bellin unit. The uppermost section of the steering column is telescopic to provide adjustment of the steering wheel position. The body consists of a steel cage with each section specially shaped and designed to provide maximum strength with good corrosion resistance. The doors are hung on strong, permanently lubricated hinges. The doors can be opened a full 70 degrees. The windows are glued, which increases the torsional rigidity of the body by 15%. The front wings are bolted to the body. They are supplied with extra protective inner wheel arches. The Saab 9000 is equipped with impact absorbing bumpers and consists of rugged lightweight aluminium sections, resilient polyurethane and flexible outer casings. There are also front and rear spoilers, which help to improve the stability at high speeds. The design of the Saab 9000 was based on the requirements of space and comfort of the driver and passengers. The rear center passenger as well. The front seat has got a new safety design with numerous adjustment facilities. The belt guide is adjustable in height by 100 millimeters. In the design of the climate control system, the target was set high right from the start. The efficient basic system can simply be expanded by an air conditioner, AC, or the entirely new automatic climate control system ACC developed by Saab. Combined with the revolutionary Saab ventilation air filter, the Saab 9000 thus has a climate control system that will always supply fresh, clean air, cooled or heated, free from 100% of all pollen, all visible particles, oil and soot. The system does not include a conventional water valve. After flowing through the heat exchanger, the warm air is mixed with cold air in the proportions selected by the driver. The required temperature can be preset instantly and steplessly. Thirteen vents distribute the air. The dashboard has large round instruments marked with white symbols on a black background and have orange colored pointers. a pictogram, warning signals, and an onboard computer. The switches are of three types, push buttons, rotary controls, and steering column stalks. The glove compartment is located at the far end of the dashboard, in front of the passenger. All fuses are conveniently located behind a cover at the top of the glove compartment. The entire glove compartment can also be removed to expose the electrical distribution box with its relays. The headlights are provided with a new double focus reflector, giving an excellent beam. The tailgate has an aluminium frame 
and is hung on two double-jointed hinges. The Saab 9000 combines the large load-carrying capacity of an estate car with the benefits of a traditional sedan model, which adds further to its versatility. <laughs>